slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. I've got Jax. Hold on, let's catch you up. Previously on slow poker, one dumb hand with this donkey granted me the superpower of poker invincibility. But the knight is still young. Do I still have the power? I could keep going and find out. Should I? And that monkey business. Do it already. Okay, fine, but only because I like you, Elliot Gould. I've got jacks and unintentionally min rays. That's right, as is now custom, I make a poker mistake. I think I did it again. Which prices in this next guy with any two cards, but this other guy wakes up with something strong and raises to 40. I consider a re raise, but instead just call. Is this ideal? No one knows. It's pocket jacks, and as enshrined on some t shirt, there's no right way to play. J no, I won't call them that. You can't make me say it. Say it! No! Instead, please enjoy part one of the new Infinite Part miniseries. Sometimes, oh, something beautiful happens in this world. You don't know how to express yourself, so you just gotta sing. I just flop sets. I check, he bets 55, I check raise to 175, and he calls. And this turn card is good news, bad news, super bad news. Good news if he's got ace king and assumes he's now pulled ahead. Bad news if he's got kings, as that ace should kill my action. Super bad news if he's got aces. Now, the red chip poker people advise a bet of 325 to tee up a less than pot sized river jam, but I get the vibe he won't call 325 with kings. So I slide out a more enticing 225, which he calls. And after this river, all in. And while it pains me to say it, a t-shirt lied to us. There is a right way to play j uh, two jacks. Passively, flop it, and hold. Now available on hats, throw pillows, and lower back tickities. I've got tens, and after he raises to 15, I make it 45, and he calls. You may guess what happens next. I just flop it. He checks, I bet 50, and he calls. After this turn, he checks, I bet 150, and he calls again. And after this river, All in. He claims he had an ace, a gut shot straight draw, and a flush draw, which would mean ace three or ace four of hearts. So dealer, let's make a deal. Ray, you're dealing. Next time, river that guy a five or nine of hearts. Cause without that, I only win a $600 pot. Okay, dealer? We can do better. I've got nines. He raises, I raise more, he calls, and you know the drill. I just flop it. I bet he calls. This turn, I bet he folds. And not to give away my top secret poker tricks, but let's just say it can't hurt to know people who can get things done. Olivia, slow poker. Can you flop me a set of nines? It's handled. I've got eights, aka the lucky snowmen, though they haven't been too lucky for me. This river needs to be a brick, but for infinite pain, I know what's coming. Yup, the river goes check check, and pardon me gentlemen, but I gotta make a phone call. Have you been a bad boy? Are you throbbing with regret? Then call me, day or night, and I'll let you moan about your premature fold. So I make what feels like a sensible fold. <laughs> On the bright side, there is a promotion running for the most laughable runout for folded pocket eights. So let's get lucky. Oh, they both have ace high? You guys, we did it. What's the prize? Those two split my money? Ah, you live for these moments. He limps. He raises to 25. He calls, I call, he calls, and not gonna happen again, right? What do you think? I just flop it. I check, they check, and he bets 100? While I can't fathom what he's got, it's clear he's not folding it. So I raise, he calls, and as long as this turn isn't a- Actually, I don't care what this turn is. And after a pocket eights cold streak, finally the lucky snowmen don't melt. All it took was a hundred degree desert. Hey cold ones, nice work. And speaking of cold ones, first round's on me. What was your favorite part of the World Series of Poker? Oh, easy. It was when I put a quarter in the Hotel Zoltar machine and wished for a sleepover with Elizabeth Perkins in a Mark Gastineau jersey. After which Zoltar says, the 80s are over. How about I flop you a f ton of sets? Fine.
I've got sevens, raised to 15, and slow poker subscriber Jordan raises to 60. I call, and please don't unsubscribe Jordan, cause well, I just flop sets. I check, he bets 40, and I call. After this turn, I check, he bets 150, and I call. And after this river, I check, he bets 250, and Jordan may tap thumbs down on this video because... Call in. It's much better for the camera to show a bluff. It wasn't a bluff, I probably. Sevens are good. It's pretty hard to win with aces. Good fold. Good read. It's not really anything else. I didn't have a diamond either. Good fold. I gotta say, I get ASMR poker tingles when I hear the thought process of smart players. Not that I'm surprised that Jordan has a good head on his shoulders, because his brain is the brain behind this video he showed me, which is simply, well, the best! Yes! I've got sevens again, raised to 40 over a straddle, and hey, cut off and straddler, before you consider calling a question. Are you watching closely? No, really, are you? Cause if you are, you would know that I just flop sets. I bet they fold. And I'm officially a set flopping magician. I'm sorry for calling preflop. Why would you call? I'll keep asking myself that. And? I'm sorry. I I just don't know. You don't know? I'm sorry. You don't know? I just flop sets! I've got sevens again. Raised to 15, both blinds call, and abracadabra. I just flop sets! Oh, really? Come on. Well, no big deal. I'll just represent an ace. But the big blind calls. And after this turn goes check check. I guess the dream is finally over. I just river sets. He checks. I bet 50 and he calls. And he gives me that look that I had an ace and that river was gross. Look, I know it was gross. Just nowhere near as gross as my new set fetish video. Two sevens, one river. I've got sixes, raised to 15, and get one caller, and this flop concerns me. No set? Again? That's twice in a row now. Is the poker fairy dust wearing off? If so, I guess I could re-up by playing another dumb hand with Greg Goes All In. Greg, hey, can we play another stupid hand so I can get the magic back? I just busted straight flush under straight flush and a 25k. So meet in like 10 minutes? Yeah. On second thought, there's another way. I've got just the ticket. Come with me and you'll see. There's a card of pure imagination. He checks, I bet, but will he fold? The suspense is terrible. <laughs> I've got fives. He raises, I call, they call. And if my set magic is dead, then I might need a helping hand. I got your five of spades. Do you want it like in the rec room or the kitchen or out of the flop? Yeah, you got it. I just flop set. They all check. I bet. Big blind calls. And after this turn, check, bet, fold. Hey, I'm always looking for work. So if you need anything, just give me a shout. Like I do quads. I can do quads. I've got fours, and after a raise to 35 over a straddle, I make a pretty bad call from the small blind. Bad under normal circumstances, but especially bad since it looks like I can't organically flop sets anymore, unless I just believe. All we need to win is a four on the flop. I just flop set. Everyone checks, and after this turn, I bet 65 and am called by one non-believer. But after this river and a bet of 185, I think he gets the message. I've got threes, and facing a raise, and another raise, I don't even get footage of my cards because I fold so fast. Why fold, you may wonder? Cause I feel it coming. And sure enough, I'd have flopped a set, and turned quads, and he's got aces, and the river would have been the case ace. And I'd have lost a big one, quads under quads. You heard right, today is so magical that folding quads is a win. I've got deuces, and after he raises to- wait a second. This footage is from last week, at the Venetian. And I don't flop a set, I flop a boat. And I already made a short based on this hand. And yeah, it was among the best shorts in the history of shorts. But where's the footage from this game, where I flop a set of deuces? Are you kidding me right now? You're telling me I didn't get dealt deuces once during this game just to see if I could basically flop all the sets? 
So I guess that's it for the hot streak. Well, I was bound to cool off at some point. Now, just warming up.